Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, we're here as part of the INWED 2021 celebrations. The theme this year is Engineering Heroes. Um, so I have a few questions to ask you, and I'm really looking forward to learning a bit about your area of work. So perhaps we could start by, um, perhaps you could tell me a bit about your area of work and what it is that you do. Okay, so I work at UCL for a very long time now. Um, and I head the optical networks group uh, and our research is involved with um, working out techniques and um, the physics of transmission of information and un understanding how we can transmit information as fast as possible, um, as far as possible and as much information as possible. Um, and this is, this is really very much a marriage between physics and um, digital signal processing, um, um, or, and optics. That's fascinating. Thank you. Um, so this year we're looking at um, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Does your uh, area of work feed into any of those at all? So our research is all about um, transmitting information in the optical domain, so down optical fibers. It's a very clean and um, it, it, cost-effective way of, of transmitting information. It's very low, it uses very low energy. Um, there's no electromagnetic inter interference. And moreover, optical fiber systems underpin the digital communications infrastructure. They're really at the core of everything we do. Every time you send an email, um, the Zoom call we're currently having, um, every time on order something on the internet, in any online transaction um, involves information being transmitted out optical fibers. Transmission, um, the control of transport, utilities, electricity, uh, railways, um, um, flight systems, hospital, judiciary, all uses digital information infrastructure and the, the optical fibers are at the core of that infrastructure. You probably heard lots about 5G, Without optical fibers um, and without ubiquitous, high broadband, secure optical fiber communication systems, there will be no 5G. Wow, that's incredible. It's so, so far reaching. Um, so it, it all sounds really, really fascinating. Do you, do you have a particular area that you really enjoy that's your favorite? <laughs> It's really interesting. So the group that I set up back in 1994 was the first UK um, academic engineering systems group in optical communication. So the system, design of the system as a whole, um, not just the physics of particular components, but how all the bits of the system work together, the sources that transmit information, the modulators that um, are used to modulate data, um, the understanding of, of the propagation of light down optical fibers, the detection, it's all part of systems engineering. And, in th and that system engineering is what's exciting. I mean, isn't it a miracle that we're able to, the distance doesn't matter, um, the communications are so ubiquitous. This is all, it, it, but in fact, this is no miracle. It's all a result of um, systems engineering and improvements. And ever since I've been since I've been in UCL and since I set up the group, we've increased transmission uh, speeds from um, two gigabits to hundreds of terabits. So almost five orders of magnitude. Well, five orders of magnitude. Yeah, that's incredible. And I guess with the, with the last year with us all home working, we wouldn't be able to do that. Life would have been very different, wouldn't it? I gave a lecture in 2014 at the Royal Society. It was called the Clifford Patterson Lecture. It was called Communicating with Light. And I talked about how it wouldn't, how ubiquitous far free internet would enable uh, medical cons consultations, um, a remote education. And people found it actually quite far-fetched and they said yes well this is all okay but this is never going to happen or not going to happen for a long time and it only took six years for this to become a reality. So the theme this year is engineering heroes um, I wondered if you yourself had an engineering hero or heroine somebody or something that inspired you to want to become an engineer. 
Well, um, I had uh, a fantastic physics teacher in school, um, uh, Mr. Nahum Audman, who recently passed away. Um, he's much loved and uh, was very much a source of inspiration. My father, uh, who is a very witty physicist, uh, uh, sowed the seeds um, of uh, physics and applied physics. But um, when I came to UCL um, and I was um, really fortunate to come to UCL, um, helped by the tremendous undergraduate um, admissions tutor that we had, uh, Roger Giblin at the time who admitted me and was very much an inspiration for me to come to join UCL. He was very welcoming and also very witty. Um, the, the series of heroes um, who were involved with the development of the UCL Electrical Engineering Department, uh, Ambrose Fleming, um, who invented the valve and who built um, the communication system that was used to, to transmit first radio signals across the Atlantic for Marconi, uh, and the heads of departments that followed, uh, Harold Barlow, Alec Cullen, Eric Ash, who is the most incredible engineer and a most incredible person, was, my, was the head of department when I first came, and um, and lifelong mentor, uh, and John Midwinter, who, uh, when working for BT uh, Laboratories, was behind the first optical fiber communication systems installed anywhere in the world, um, and then came to UCL and uh, taught me and was the head of department, was very much an inspiration. Um, he laid the foundations of uh, optical fiber fabrication and design and transmission. Um, so full of heroes, um, UCL, and they're very inspirational in, in, in having a very high um, high standard to, towards which to, to aim for. That's really, really interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, and finally, um, obviously InWeb is all about women in engineering. I wondered if you had any advice for a young woman today who wanted to enter the field of STEM. I think um, they should go for it. It's a fantastic, and women engineers are often shown um, wearing hard hats and spanners. We're far, we've moved away from that. Um, it's a varied job. It's a varied career. It's full of, it's interesting, inspiring. Um, if you look around yourself, around you, everything is have been designed and built by somebody. Um, and this is, these are engineers who've designed and built um, these items, your mobile phone, your TV, um, the train upon which you ride, um, the car, everything has been designed, but behind um, that um, commodity item are years of research and years of development. And every day is different. Um, and it's it's very I'm, I'm happy you could see the background of our research lab. It's now it's located five minutes away from the British Museum, but it happens to be the world leading uh, research laboratories in, laboratory in optical communications. So it's um, it's an exciting it's an exciting thing. Um, I'm very fortunate to have exceptional students um, and colleague and colleagues, both men and women. And the gender doesn't play much part. Excitement about what you do, um, the ability to, um, um, the, 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 the mathematical and technical ability in combination with interest and excitement and motivation are the, the critical elements. That's, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. It's been really, really fascinating learning about what it is that you do. Thank you for joining me today.